talk about will relate one to one, especially if I already did any homework problems and things like that. The grading is identical to what it was last time. The grade on a curve, presumably the exams will be shorter and easier. Uh, I usually don't have a wireless like this, like this problem. With this thing, this um, so I will give you homeworks. I'm going to give you two types of homeworks like last time. Um, it's unfortunately impractical for one TA to grade 11 or 10 homeworks from 85 people. Okay. So we're going to do the thing we did last time. If you've written homeworks, you'd be wise to do those. We won't grade them, and then we'll, but we will grade them out last time. There'll be a couple of those. There'll be a project thing. I actually like that a lot. I'm not sure you did. Okay. <laughs> I graded those, and I, I, I was impressed for the most part about what you guys did. And we'll do something similar this time. A couple of midterm exams, I'll show you the dates in a minute. We're going to have to get a final Okay. All the exams will be open book. Um, but open book means bring materials that you have from the class. Don't try to bring a portfolio. It won't help you anyway. But portfolio past homework assignments at AIC and AG may have provided in your over term guarantee Means your own material. Um, so in terms of homeworks, let me see what the focus on here. I'll give them roughly weekly written ones. Uh, we won't collect, but you'd be wise to do them. Uh, MATLAB will give every couple weeks. Those have to be graded. You can work in a two-member group like we did last time. If you want to work with someone, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, the usual things, turn it on time, make sure they're neat. Um, you have to have MATLAB, and you also have Simulink. That's a new tool that we use in control that we didn't use in, um, that we did not use in 361. Okay. The whole thing's available for 99 bucks. If you bought the student edition, you already have everything you need. If you didn't, well, I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure you got it. Okay, but, um, I'll be very explicit about the things you need soon, but you need the MATLAB, you need the Simulink. All right, and you can go to that website if you want to buy it. Okay. You know, I guess I gave you this deal last time. If we had a coherent policy, you would have bought this expression, right? You would have told you had to buy it, and you would use it properly. But I'm doing the best I can, um, so it's no different than you want. Okay. All right, MATLAB project. Similar to what we did last time. At this point, you have no idea what to do. actually worth 20% of the projects. So sometimes people did the project with us and didn't tell me what they were going to do, so that's not a good model. So I'll show you the schedule in a minute. Um, you can do this in groups of four if you want to. Okay? But it has to be complex enough to be interesting to you. Right? And that's why I want to prove the topics. And your idea is I like to control liquid level in a tank. I'll be like, well, maybe that's a little trivial. Okay? If you said I want to control an entire plant and ask them, maybe okay, that's too much. So, I just want to OK them to make sure that you're on target. We'll post everything, and I do mean everything. Lectures, um, syllabus, schedule, um, videos, um, all of it on the website. That's the web, what, right here? One typo. It's, that is the website, except on the last three numbers, as you might imagine, are 446, not 261. Well, that's that side. Uh, you should come to us. Okay. But I'm, I'm going to make no attempt to make you Smart. Um, and I will put a big emphasis on this. I have had incidents over the last couple of years where students have, have cheated in my classes. And I, I, last time this class was taught, I, I caught 35 people and I took them all to the academic you know, so, so I'm sure it's okay. I expect you guys are going to work together. I know how it works. I do students. It would be foolish to work by yourself. It's too hard to try to learn everything by yourself. So I know you work in groups. And then you try to change information. But that's different than just blatant copying, right? Or blatant copying of solutions you might find somewhere. Okay? So don't do any of that because we look. And um, I really think that there's been kind of a blurred line. I'm not sure students even know what's reasonable anymore with you know, electronic access to so much materials. And um, at some point, I might actually, it's a little, I would say it's late for you guys, that's the wrong story. We really should have. We have an office that deals with this stuff, and those guys should offer to come speak to the freshmen. They really should be educating you guys more very early in the curriculum about what's considered appropriate and what's not. But for now, I'm hoping that you have some idea what's most reasonable. Okay, so one last thing.
thing, the schedule. Um. All right, there it is. You've seen it before. It looks just like 361. Topics are different, but the details the same. Gives you the date we're meeting, the topic, what you should read, and what's due. Okay. Uh, reading, I think it's, you know, maybe not entirely realistic that you read the entire chapter or whatever before you come in. It's not a bad idea to spend like 15 minutes glancing at the material before you come in so you have some idea of what I'm going to talk about. But I know you guys are busy. You do the best you can. Okay. All the material that I plan to cover are covered in the lecture. So there's not stuff in the book hidden away that I'm going to test you on that I don't talk about in the lecture. Okay. But the book obviously goes into much more depth. Learning for most people involves just repeated exposure to the same thing. So if you come to the lectures and you read the notes and you do the homework, study for the exams, take the exams, that should be what you do. Okay. So I'm not going to go through all these topics, but you can see all the um, lectures are on Tuesday and Thursday. The exams are in class on Tuesdays or Thursdays. Uh, and the Fridays are either MATLAB, a review for a test, or I think there's one lecture for that. First part of the course, up until the first exam, you can see the date of this first exam. So now the goal is to tell Professor Bilziar, of course, you don't have that many exams this year. You don't have exams in lab. And you won't have many designs. I don't know how the design is actually working in terms of exams. So there shouldn't be a conflict, but if there is, I'm already playing September 30th. Right. So that's going to be all on, um, let's say, process dynamics and modeling. All things largely are review in some sense. Let's focus on dynamics. And then the second part of the class, the second midterm, is, is what we call simple control or conventional control. Okay. And then the last, and that goes, and there's the next exam. Okay, you can see the date, October 28th. Um, and then finally, the last part of the course is more advanced control. And um, it will end with the final exam. You can see there's a lot of no classes in the last part of the class. So I think I'm traveling that day. That's a no Tuesday day. That's AICHE week, and that's the 